from now until the 2019 NFL Draft takes place, we hope to showcase as many prospects as possible and examine both their strengths and weaknesses. Most of these profiles will feature individuals that the Pittsburgh Steelers are likely to have an interest in, while a few others will be top-ranked players. If there is a player you would like us to analyze, let us know in the comments below. Coming out of turnover chain U, Jackson had just four career interceptions, all of which came in his junior season. Despite finishing with just four interceptions in 51 career games, 23 starts, I was really pleased with Jackson's ball skills as he routinely high-pointed the football when the opportunity was there to make a play on the ball, and also showed off soft hands as well. Unlike other cornerbacks in this class, Jackson's game is all about physicality as he loves to play pressman and bully receivers to the boundary where he can harass them along the sideline. When he was able to do that successfully in 2017, we saw a lot of plays like this. That's against Syracuse's Jamal Custis, a big, physical receiver that I'm really high on in this draft class. Jackson forces him wide with a quick punch and never lets him get over the top, undercutting him for the diving interception. Midway through his senior season, Jackson showed flashes of playing off man and clicking and closing on the football in the air, to break up passes. Good thing here is Jackson sinks his hips in his back pedal, never gets too top-heavy and reacts quickly to what the receiver does on the in-breaking route, allowing Jackson to plant and drive downhill for the pass breakup. He can get a bit too grabby on vertical routes against faster receivers, simply because he doesn't have recovery speed, but for every negative play in that regard I could show you, I can turn around and show you a play like this from Jackson. Yes, he has a hand on the Virginia Tech receiver down the field, but look at the way he leaps and gets a hand on this football, breaking up a potential splash play. I have to be honest, I rarely see these types of plays from a college cornerback, and he did this as a junior. Outside of his coverage abilities, Jackson is an effective blitzer coming off the edge. He disguises his intentions really, really well and wastes no movement firing downhill at the snap. I'd like to see him get a bit better at finishing once he reaches the quarterback off the edge, but I'll take this type of disruptive blitz all day long if he's providing it when called upon. One area I really want to see Jackson improve on is shedding blocks on the boundary. Against Florida State in 2018, Jackson was clamped up consistently by Florida State's receivers in the run and screen game. For such a physical cornerback, he should be much, much better in this area than this. Overall, Jackson appears stiff on tape at times, but he's as physical as they come at the line of scrimmage at cornerback. He'll certainly be scheme-dependent and will need to be covered up at times, but he's going to bring an edge to the cornerback room at the next level, and will make an immediate impact as a core special teams player. Projection, Midday 3 Games Watched, Pittsburgh 2017, Virginia Tech 2017, Syracuse 2017, Florida State 2018, LSU 2018, North Carolina 2018 Recommended for you please enable JavaScript to view the comments powered by Discuss. Let's block ads. Why? 